Good afternoon and welcome to the Cedarwoolly Rotary Club, the greatest Rotary Club in the... Thank you. My saying for the day is today I choose life. Every morning when I wake up, I can choose joy, happiness, negativity, pain, to feel the freedom that comes from being able to continue to make mistakes and choices. Today, I choose to feel life, not to deny my humanity, but to embrace it. Today's invocation is by Miriam. I would like to invite all of us to take a moment of silence and offer up individual silent prayers for the students, victims, survivors, families, and staff at Robb Elementary in Texas. Thank you. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Four-way test. Is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendship? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? And today's song is by, led yep. by Lynn. We're gonna sing the United States Marine Corps hymn. And if we could have any military veterans, if you kind of raise your hand, just uh, we've been recognizing military throughout here. We got a few of us left. I know it's gonna pain Louie a little bit as an army guy to sing the Marine Corps hymn. It hurts me a little bit as a, as a Navy guy, but. Uh, We'll go ahead and recognize him. All right, Keith's probably gonna, you know, carry the day here, but he's, where's he hiding at? Oh, Keith's back, back in the corner, but uh, um, we'll, 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 there we go. The United States Marine. Thanks again, Keith. Do we have any visiting Rotarians here today? Okay, do we have any guests or Rotarians other than our uh, student guests? Guests of Rotarians. Hi, I am really excited. You guys have heard a lot of stories about Emma. She's now 22 and she'll finish her, uh, this is my daughter, Emma Carlton. You gotta wait. <laughs> and I'm hoping that once she graduates, she, wherever she lands, she will find a Rotary Club that she can be a part of and um, pursue volunteering in her community. So I'm just grateful that she's here and thank you for letting me brag on her. Um, when I did, so thank you. Welcome, Emma. Any other guests of Rotarians here today? Okay. Uh, this time I'm going to call on Jeff McCann, who's going to introduce our scholarship winners. Oh, you're gonna... Okay, well, if I could have all the winners just come up and uh, be recognized. Stand up. <laughs> so I don't know how many years I've been doing this. It's got to be pushing 10 or 12 or so. And every year, it's just a great honor to be here with the, with the recipients. Um, this year's class and last year's class and next year's class, they face so much. And for us to be able to, to be a part of their journey and be able to give a little bit to them is a big honor for me um, as the chair and I know as for the club as a whole. So um, I'm gonna 
ask them one at a time to step up here, just give a uh, introduction of who they are, who they brought with them if they, if they were able to bring somebody and uh, just let us know what their plan is for next year. So it doesn't have to be anything big, no giant speech, just who you are, who you brought and what your plan is for tonight. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Moises Santiago and I brought my father who was able to come today and I'm planning to go to uh, Strategy Valley College next uh, next fall. So that's that's a big deal. So yeah. Hi, I'm Ashley Parker. I brought my mom. And in the fall, I'll be attending Boise State, and um, I will be planning on majoring in radiologic technology. Hi, I'm Carlin Hers. Um, I brought my mom with me, and I plan on attending Boise State University this August to major in sonography. Hi, my name is Kira Fellers. I brought my mom with me, Lori Fellers. And next year I'll be attending California Polytechnic State University with a major in psychology. Hi, I'm Emma Sullivan. I brought my mom with me and next year I'm gonna to go to Western Washington University and I'm gonna major in biochemistry. Hi, my name is Taylor Burke. I brought my dad with me and I'll be going to Skagit to study bacon and pastries. Hi, I'm Jordan Burke. I brought my dad with me and I will be continuing my education at Skagit Valley College. Hi, my name is Camille Skiles and I brought my dad, Brett Skiles, and I'm going to Western Washington University where I recently got accepted into their graphic design program. Hi, my name is Kaylee Hansen. I brought my mom, Tracy Hansen, with me, and I'm going to attend Bellingham Technical to study radiologic technology. So as I said every year, it's an honor to, to be part of this. Um, we can do a, maybe a round of applause for all the family members that were able to come today, because you guys... <laughs> certainly have done a great job with these kids. So anyway, thank you. That's all I had. So one more round of applause for our recipients. <laughs> you guys can go sit back down now. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. And congratulations again to all the students and their family where uh, the whole club and city are very proud of your accomplishments and wish you the best in the future. Uh, some business, Pola, did you have something you wanted to talk about? Lynn, oh. Next weekend, the weekend after Memorial Day, we do a celebration downtown called Blast from the Past. And uh, I did bring a few posters. So if anybody would like to take one and put it up in their business or um, just for their own reminders of what's going on. But we do have uh, vendors coming in on Friday. We have live music that day as well. And then on Saturday, we have the color run in the morning. Some family games uh, after that at the square. More live music. Uh, and on Sunday, is the American Legion is doing the car show for us. So um, if 
people who want to bring their cars into the car show, just take it to the American Legion. They'll get you signed in and registered. But thank you, Rich, for letting me make that announcement. Thank you for the announcement and all the work that goes into, into that uh, event. Uh, as Miriam mentioned a few minutes ago, uh, we had the tragedy in Uvalde, Texas uh, this week. And uh, I thought it would be appropriate if we could raise a little money to send to the Rotary Clubs in Uvalde uh, to see, uh, for let, let, let them see what uh, they could best use it for to uh, help the healing, wow. I guess, in, in Uvalde. So, Lynn has got a box and he's passing, it's being passed around. So uh, whatever you can uh, give, uh, I plan on using, uh, I didn't know this before I became president, but the president gets a bunch of money they could spend any way they want every year and uh, I haven't spent any yet. So I plan on donating at least part of my discretionary funds to uh, send to Uvalde. So again, thank you. Uh, we have a work party on this Saturday, and John, do you want to give us an update or anything? If you need to know where he lives, just let me know. Eric's going to help me. You know where he, how to get there. I'll send you a note. Kyle's going to help me. Meg is going to help me. And uh, so it's going to be fun. We're doing just some carpentry work and stuff like that. Okay. I mean, we got to work with Carl for a few hours. That's going to be hard. But other than that, <laughs> you know, we don't we'll know who's the boss, right? That's going to be trouble, but we'll get through it. Thank you, John. Uh, I guess that's all the, uh, oh, I want to, I want to thank the members uh, of the club who were able to help out at Camp Kirby. I forgot my list of who they were, but, uh, uh, the work got done. They have a new floor out there, and uh, apparently it looks uh, wonderful. So thank you to the members that participated in, uh, in helping out at Camp Kirby over the last couple of weeks. Are there any other announcements? Okay, how about if we spin that wheel of fortune? All right, get your numbers ready. The first one is number 47, the big four seven. Oh, here we go, got it right up here. Gonna take his chances with the wheel. Uh, didn't see anything you liked there, huh, Eric? 35 dollars cash all right there we go and it got donated right back to texas that's pretty awesome number one Number one, the song Meister. There we go, a little bit of wine action. We'll do four. We're going to do three. Number 74, number 74. There we go. Yeah, it's just two more. All the suspense. What's he going to get? $5 cash. Wiping us out. And one more. That's probably my number. 
And 73. Oh, my neighbor. You gonna get the wife a bottle of wine or are you gonna take a spin? Ooh, president pays $10. There you go. Just keep it. And that's Do we still have there we go. And that's it for our spin the wheel. Okay. Uh, Sergeant Arms. You're Sergeant at Arms, here we go. First off, whoever wants these keys back, it'll cost you two dollars. Ooh, jingly keys, jingly keys. <laughs> Can somebody give Louie a ride home today? He's having some issues so far. So, yeah, she, she was kind of messing things up. And can we get a couple of people to pick up, um, pick up some money here? Um, so first off, if you are signed up or have been working on a work party this week, it's gonna cost you a dollar for being on a work party. It's going to cost you $2 for not being on a work party or signing up for one. So, throw this down here. And we're going to keep this short, sweet to the and to the point. So, Tim here somewhere? Do I see Tim Howland here somewhere? Oh, there he is. So, when did we start getting um, stuff in for the auction last year? Like the day before, was it like the week before or what? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get a little bit ahead. If you have, if you have turned in something for next year's auction, you don't know anything. If you haven't turned anything in for ne this next year's auction, you owe a dollar. And that's all I got for this. Okay. Well, with that, we've got some extra time. And I, I got a figure this morning from Danny. So I laid some pieces of paper, and I think Lynn has some more. And it's going to cost you $2 to enter for this is for the gross amount of money that we brought in, not the net, but the gross. Uh, so the closest to it without going over, because I don't know how to subtract and stuff like that. So uh, we'll split the pot with whoever uh, wants to do it. And I've got an official, an official sheet in my pocket that tells, has a bottom line number. So it's gross is the important word there, not the net. Without going over. And if you're writing on the sheets, put your name on them. Or you want to just fold down, yeah, just fold them.
Has everybody got their bets in? And have we collected all the money? And uh, Lynn, uh, we all set? Some? Okay. That it out there? Okay. How many put 270,000 or more on their guess? Well, you're out. <laughs> How many put 265,000 or more on their You're out, but barely. The number is 265,626 cents. So who is, uh, somewhere between 260 and 265,000. Louie, is he the only one? Read out your number. Anybody closer to 265,000 than Louie? There you go. And a, few, a couple of weeks or so, we'll have a, another one of these with uh, how much the net when Danny finally gets all the bills in and everything. So thank you. Uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over. It's time for early levers. I'm going to turn it over to Miriam, I believe, who's going to introduce our speaker. We have a new, oh, Mark. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, happy, happy birthday and then happy bucks, Rich. Happy bucks. Okay. Happy birthday, Brock. All right, happy bucks. I'm happy because you don't every day get key source said to sing happy birthday to you. So just that was worth enough right there. So a couple of things though I'm happy about is um, 20 years ago, the Cedar Woolley Schools Foundation had done a project down in front of the high school gym. It's called Pride Plaza there. The high school students at the time named it there. We've got like 4,000 uh, pavers there. There's over a thousand of them have uh, engravements on it. But we noticed earlier last year that you couldn't, basically you couldn't read the things anymore because of the moss and everything that had gone on that. So last weekend, I want uh, Tim Howland and Eric Johnson to stand up, is they both spent about four straight hours each uh, pressure washing every single one of those bricks and it looks like it's brand new, so, right? <laughs> Okay, and the, so here's happy 20, and the rest of it is for um, the foot race. So we got Becky Scrindy and uh, Charlie Bush have kind of stepped up to help kind of take over the transition between uh, Kyle and myself doing the foot race. So we're on a good track to be able to 
continue to do the Cedarway foot race for a long time to come. Right, Kyle? All right, thanks. I've got a happy couple bucks. Uh, Tuesday morning, I had the pleasure to spend a couple hours with Carrie Carlton in her office. And I got to speak with uh, the Rotary Scholarship winners. Uh, I'll be there next Wednesday to speak to the rest of them. And congratulations to parents and you kids for all your hard work and your careers at Cedarway High School. Uh, I'm just so impressed and proud of you. Uh, from, from, the, from the lot of the kids that, that I've been interviewing, I'll select the 40th recipient of the George C. Burkett Jr. Excellence Award. It's so hard to believe that my dad died 40 years ago, July 21st. It seems like yesterday. But the, the list of kids on the wall at Cedarway High School, it's just so incredible, all, all that they have done. So congratulations. It's my true honor. And Carrie, it's just one of the uh, best days for me, uh, spending time with you. I'll contribute some money here today. Um, my granddaughter, Jaden, will graduate June 11th from Western Washington University. She's uh, majoring in English literature with a teaching certification. Hi, I wanna echo what David said, and I also just wanna share a congratulations to our graduates for the scholarship earnings from Rotary, but also parents, thank you, job well done. And thank you for sharing your student with us at Cedarway High School. Um, the other, I have a happy 30 as well for our, we had Cora and Aaron Pierce went to state for golf and um, they finished and Cora ended up making it to the second day, which was yesterday and finished out strong. It was her first time under 90 hitting a 90 on the golf course, so we were so proud of her. And then this morning, we sent off 13 track athletes to compete at 2A State Champs track and field. So sending them all our best, and we just appreciate it. Thank you. So I got a happy five. I'm going to put Brock back on the spot again, because if you know uh, anything about him, it's all about him or at least that's what he says. And the month of May is Brockalation. I don't know if you know that. He gets a whole month. Yeah, yeah, see, even John knows, everybody knows. And uh, this year I, I'm giving happy bucks because I got not just my birthday, but an extra day. So I'm so grateful that, you know, it only took me 10 years of working in the office to get one extra day. So at this rate, you know, I'll be like 90 before I get to celebrate like a whole week. So thank you. Appreciate it. We have a new member talk today, um, although she's not really a new member of Rotary. She is a transfer from Marysville Rotary, and she currently serves as VP of Operations, Boys and Girls Club, Skagit County. I'm going to have her tell us more about herself, but please welcome Christina Trader. Hello, nice to see everybody. Um, so today I'm gonna give you a little bit about me. Um, so this, I was born on April 22nd in Everett at the, what used to be Everett General Hospital. Um, and those are my lovely parents, Dave and Tammy. Um, my dad actually has spoken to this Rotary in the past. Uh, he works for a nonprofit in Everett. And then that's my lovely grandfather who passed away 10 years ago um, next month. Um, this is more of my family. Um, I have a very small family. I only know my dad's side of the family. Um, and that's his brother and sister with my grandfather. And then a longtime family friend that's known me since birth. 
Um, I was born in Everett and I have made a circle around the peninsula. I moved to Marysville finally as a sophomore in high school and still live in Marysville. But that is my lovely little kitty. She weighs eight pounds and um, is kind of a demon. It's fine. Um, she's mischievous and I love her. Uh, these are my fur, my fur babies. I don't have children. I have fur babies. Um, I have a nomad who is a Bombay and he's got black claws and his tongue is even black and he likes to play fetch. And then I have my little eight pound demon who I rescued from a field in Ferndale. Um, her name's Athena. She turns the water on, on the sink by herself. And then I have Zeus, my black and white kitty who um, likes to sit in the dryer with wet clothing. He's a special kitty. Um, I have lots of interests in life. Um, my dad up in the corner and I like to cook a lot. And so we do a lot of food porn pictures on Facebook and that's what my Facebook is. Um, I also wanted to be an oceanographer before I became a teacher. And then I also have a love of Harry Potter and all things art. And then I'm also an Eastern Star member. Um, my dad's a master mason. And so we do a lot together. And then I love to travel and go exploring and camping. And um, if you can see it, the dog head is a 125 pound German Shepherd that we lost in February, but he was my baby. Uh, my rotary career started in 2015 and I was inducted into Marysville Rotary. In 2019, I became auction chair and then I became president in 2020, 2021. Um, that was hard to be president during COVID, um, but it was an amazing experience and I, cherish every day that I got to be a president for Rotary. Um, the bottom picture with the young man, I got to present a scholarship to for our scholarship event. And he started at my Marysville club when he was a young teenager as a coach. I got to hire him and be his first boss. And then he went off to college and I got to present him with a scholarship to pursue his career in juvenile justice. And then um, I finally got my president rotary sign in pink on my last day as president and my very first in-person meeting. And then the picture all the way up in the corner is past district governor, Larry Juby, um, who is my mentor and um, inducted or installed me as, my, as the president. Um, and then I got to present him with a check for hands for peacemaking to go build a school in Guatemala. So it was pretty special. And then my Boys and Girls Club career is very important to me as well. I started in 2008. That was my very first summer camp. And then I'm still there. Um, I'm just in Skagit County now. And that is our team at National Conference a couple weeks ago in Chicago. And I have goals to take over the world and be a CEO one day, so we're on a track. Uh, this is my favorite quote. Um, it's by Brene Brown, who is a huge inspiration to me. And then last picture is me and my rotary crown because my year's auction chair was one of its most successful for Marysville. And I got to be a queen for a year, so uh, that's a little bit about me. Um, you can always find me at the club and my office is pink. I love pink and sparkle. Um, so that's me. Oh, yes, questions. Yes, sir. No. Um, I actually came home one day and my kitchen sink was r running. Um, there's a reason I don't keep anything in my sink and the faucet is always over the drain because she likes to turn it on and leave it on. She's special. She, um, 
was rescued in Ferndale at two weeks old. And I met her, she came out of a carrier and she crawled up her foster mom's leg and landed on her shoulder and started biting her because she wanted food. And I said, she has to come home. So yeah, I'm one of those crazy cat ladies. It's fine. <laughs> Other questions? Thank you, Christina. And uh, we're gonna get done a little early today. So if you can help clean up, uh, it would be appreciated. And uh, I guess I'm down to about a month. So I'm looking forward to turning things over to Phil. Uh, so with that, we are adjourned. Oh, wait a minute, Louie. We got the money mixed up, so I took a guess of how much. Thank you, Louie. So with that, uh, the meeting is adjourned. And if you can